All right, good afternoon. So this is the story of my cheap 1660 Super, which I tried to get for $177.56 from the completely legitimate suresweet.shop. So anyway, this is one of those Facebook ads that come up. And I thought, okay, that's very cheap price for a GTX 1660 Super. So, Maybe we should try and order it because this was around the time that Ethereum mining was banned in China. So I thought, well, it's a possibility they're trying to offload all these GPUs really cheap just to get rid of them before the Chinese government throws them all in the bin doing raids and stuff. So I thought, all right, we'll give it a go. So I opened the link on my desktop computer, made sure the PayPal window was legitimate. because I thought if something goes wrong, I can just lodge a dispute and get my money back, which it all seemed legitimate. So made the payment successful and then two days later I got the tracking information and something was sent because I looked went on the China post website and sure enough the package had been sent and it was legit so whether the video card was sent or not is another thing something was sent so I waited about two months and then this arrived the parcel Funny looking video card. It's actually a DDR3 4 gigabyte 1600 stick of RAM. So completely not what I ordered and uh, definitely not worth 177 Australian, which is 128 US dollars at the time. So I thought that was kind of funny. And the, the ironic thing is I actually have a lot of Haswell main boards. All my miners run on Haswell. So the DDR3 memory is actually kind of useful as a backup. So I fired it up on my test board. It, Passed fine, passed the memory tests and booted into Windows. So yeah, a bit of a cheapy brand that I've never heard of before, but hey, stick of memory. The only thing was, it's not worth what I paid for it. So I did what should be done and lodged a dispute with the seller. And they came back and said, they just kept writing OK. So OK, well if you're going to be cheeky, then I'm going to lodge a claim with PayPal which is exactly why I risked it in the first place, knowing that I could get my money back. So lodged the complaint with PayPal and the seller came back and offered me a partial refund of 80 US dollars. I was about to accept it, but I thought, no, nah, this is nothing like, I mean, it's a computer part, but it's not a video card. It's not even like a, a dodgy video card, you know? I mean, I kind of collect computer parts, so I actually wouldn't have minded if it was some obscure old video card. Like, I probably would have held on to it. So anyway, I thought, nah, I'll not accept it because I didn't get completely what I wanted. And they reimbursed me the total amount. 128.98 US dollars, which was 177 Australian. So that is how I got a free stick of DDR3 memory. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> I don't recommend you do this. But um, if you do it, just check the page source on the PayPal uh, you know, when it brings up the window. Just make sure it's actually legit. Uh, in ca this case it was, but um, I've no doubts that there's uh, probably PayPal scams and other things going on out there. So, yeah, hope you found this interesting. If you always wondered what would happen if you ordered one of those cheap video cards that popped up on Facebook a while ago. And that's it for now. I'll uh, catch you later.